Hey folks, it's Dr. Sam and I received a really interesting question today. There's a woman who is suffering uh, drusen in her optic nerve and she's relating it partly to having some calcification uh, in her teeth. This is what her dentist has told her and that uh, she's clenching her teeth a lot. She's very worried about the drusen in her optic nerve. What can she do? So drusen by itself is not an issue, but when it starts to impinge on the optic nerve or the macula, then we have to pay attention. So drusen is uh, waste products, proteins, and lipids that can accumulate in the retina. Uh, I have found that there is a correlation between the development of drusen and uh, interferences with our immune system, and also that there's an inflammatory response going on in the retina. So to unpack this, uh, I would say that number one, it's very important that you boost your antioxidants. Now with the optic nerve, the optic nerve needs a lot of fats and oils, especially the DHA uh, that we, we get from omega-3s. I also think like lutein and zeaxanthin and astaxanthin, you know, those carotenoids, uh, my preference is to get them through our, our foods, uh, plant-based foods, green leafy vegetables and the rainbow diet, really, really important. Obviously things like uh, sulfur rich foods and uh, you know things that contain glutathione, very important for the optic nerve and the retina. But on a deeper level, uh, because there is an immune system possible uh, connection, I would take a look at what's going on in the intestinal system, especially are we getting enough probiotics and prebiotic fiber? Uh, anything to reduce inflammation in the gut and also um, improve our immune function. Obviously, we know that the intestinal tract carries at least 70% of our neurological health. Some other things to think about, uh, because uh, this gal clenches her teeth, uh, there's a reduction in circulation going on, probably in the whole facial jaw area, maybe even TMJ. So I would suggest uh, finding a good osteopath craniosacral therapist and get regular craniosacral to start opening up the circulation in and around the face and the eyes. You know, any way that you can improve the microcapillary circulation in the retina uh, the better those mitochondria are producing the ATP, then you're able to get rid of waste products um, in the retina and in the eye itself. And increasing the microcapillary circulation, whether through lymph uh, drainage, craniosacral therapy, uh, getting more exercise, reducing stress, uh, these are all factors that are involved that reduce our microcapillary circulation and this is where the drusen can start to uh, increase and accelerate. But overall, if you start being proactive, at the very least, you can neutralize some of the development of the, of the drusen so it stays away from these vulnerable areas like the macula and the optic nerve. So I hope that's helpful. Uh, it's a great question. Thank you so much.